Hello guys, what's up and welcome to my channel once again. So today I bring you another eye look. This is um, kind of more colorful, colorful eye look as you can tell. We have some yellow, some orange, some pink and some deep blue on the crease. And I'm gonna show you how to do this because I know that summer is right there for a lot of you, not for me, but for a lot of you and I thought this would be a fun look to make. So I'm gonna stop because I know you hate long intros and I'm gonna hop right into the tutorial. So first, I have to try my eyes because I have really really oily eyelids and I'm gonna start it with my MAC paint pot. If you don't have oily eyelids then you can just go ahead with uh, applying what I'm going to apply next. But this just makes a really nice base and helps your eyeshadow not to crease. And since these are very um, colorful eyeshadows, we want to use a pencil, a white pencil as a base. And I'm just gonna kind of uh, put the pencil, uh, put the white pigment all over my lid, extend it a little bit more. Oh, by the way, I'm using tape just to get a more precise shape of the eye and to prevent any follows, even though I'm not wearing my foundations right now, it is, um, it is a bit of a mess when your eyeshadow falls into your skin. So you blend it out. If not, uh, and once it's all blended out, you want to start with your inner corner. And as you can tell, I started with um, a yellow shadow. This one that I have right here is from Coastal Sense. This one, I'm gonna use this one right in my inner corner. And I'm just gonna take any brush that I have and picking that. I previously wet my brush. I'm gonna pick that up and I'm gonna start packing it on my inner corner. And a little bit far more because the color might get lost a little bit. Try to pack it, not just move it around. Try to use pattern motions. My eyeshadow is a little bit too wet, so try try to use a setting spray instead of water because I think that works best. And this also helps your eyeshadow to pop a little bit more. Just pack it in, in. So now you have your yellow shadow. We're gonna move on and use a orange shadow like this one that I have right here. It's actually a blush, but since I thought that it will match this perfectly, I'm going to use it as an eyeshadow. I'm gonna pick another brush. It's a little bit wet. And I'm just gonna... Whoa, that's pigmented! And I'm just gonna... Pack it in the center of my lid. Like this. And guess it. Yes, we're gonna use a pink shadow of the same way. Um, here I'm just gonna use... Um, Savage, th that is a hot pink shadow from the Urban Decay Electric Palette. And I'm gonna pick the brush that comes with the palette and I'm just gonna pack the hot pink unt where, until where the tape, uh, well, blocks your <laughs> eyelid or makes it finish. You know what I mean. So right now it looks really crazy. But we're gonna pick a blending brush and pick in a taupe matte shadow. Pick in a taupe matte shadow. 
we're gonna start from the outside and blend those three colors into the crease with the taupe shadow this will create a nice transition and it won't be too harsh and then you can use a brush but I think it's just a lot easier to use my finger so I'm gonna blend this out kind of creating a gradient that's why I picked this colors because I think it creates the perfect gradient you can add or blend a little bit more to achieve the look that you want to achieve the intensity that you want because some people want it to be a little bit softer some people want it to be a little bit louder just try what's best for you by the way um, all the videos that I'm gonna upload in this two three weeks are pre-recorded because I'm gonna be traveling to New York so I won't have a lot of time to record and yeah <laughs> it's gonna be a lot of fun I'm gonna go to a concert and I don't know if I'm going to Broadway I don't think so but I went two years ago it was amazing Expect a, bro um, expect a New York blog. So what you want to do is keep patting those eyeshadows to the intensity that you want and keep going with the taupe shadow and the crease just to blend it out nicely. And when you think it is all done or ready to put the other shadow, we're going to pick a blue shadow like this one this is gonzo from the same palette and we're gonna put it on our creases i'm gonna pick a i'm gonna pick the brush that comes with it and i'm gonna start from my outer corner to like making an arrow with the edge of my eye and then trying to drag it it Try to drag it a little bit more onto the inner crease and just create a cat eye shape and blend, 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 blend until it looks like you like. Like you like. <laughs> I've not my own joke. Never mind. So after you've done that and you have your shape. You want to pick a darker blue, I'm taking um, the darker blue in that same palette and pack it right into the hollow of the crease, into your, how do you call this, your eye socket I think. You just do this if you want to find it, just to add a little bit more dimension to your eyes. And I'm going to pick a little bit of a darker greenish blue and put it right there also. Just blend those three colors together, trying to give a little bit of a smoky look. <laughs> Comment down below if you like this talk through tutorials or you would like to have subtitles as I used to have. And if you want any transformations, please give me suggestions because I'm out of ideas. So. After you've blended out your blue in your crease, I think you are pretty much done. You just have to highlight your brow bone with a matte cream shadow and your inner corner with um, that same matte cream shadow. Cream shadow, sorry. And to top it off, you're going to need some wing eyeliner and the tape is also going to help us with that. I'm going to use my Maybelline Master Precise thingy. And yeah, I'm going to start drawing the really thin line. Yeah, it's really thin. And then I'm going to start connecting my lash line. 
I can't believe that I'm doing this on camera. I'm getting better with these. Clap alone if you feel like you're getting better on Nightliner. Oh no. So, you th <laughs> that was my failed attempt to parody. Or, you know, happy. So, once you've done your wing, you just take your tape off. Bye bye tape. And you want to if you want to touch up your eyeliner, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. This eyeliner is so nice, I love it so much. So after that you just have to tight line as you ah oh, as you normally would and <laughs> sorry if I get a little bit crazy when I tight line but the eyeliner just moves my contact lenses and it gets so crazy. So yeah, that's pretty much it. You also want to put some of that in your waterline. Ooh. I'm so weird. <laughs> so yeah. And now I'm going to add some falsies just because it gives more drama to the look even though it's pretty dramatic enough and I cannot put the falsies on camera sorry but uh, I'm gonna put the falsies and then my foundation and I'm gonna see you in the tat right so I already put on my foundation I applied blush bronzer and whatever I also applied my lipstick if you wonder what lip combination I used it is um max um, Cream Sheen and Peach Blossom with um, NYX Butter Gloss in Madeleine. It's a lip combination I absolutely adore and I would recommend to anyone who wants who wants a, not, uh, a glossy nude. So um, yeah, I love that lip combination. But um, just to finish off the look, I'm gonna pick the, la um, the dark blue shadow I applied to my crease earlier and I'm just gonna sweep it below my lower lash line just to give it a little bit of more of a smokiness and color and it looks really really nice be sure to smudge it and blend it and to your inner corner I'm just gonna add some glitter this is Elf's Glitter in Copper. I haven't used it since ages and I'm going to apply it to my tear duct. This is just a nice way, a, ni a nice way to top off the whole look. And of course, if you haven't already, you need to apply mascara to your bottom lash line. I just just for your information, I have a I have a picture of this tutorial in my Instagram, which is the same as my YouTube name. I'm gonna link it down below just for you to see. 